All right, folks, joining me right now is the future WWE Hall of Famer, the one and only Duke the Dumpster Drossy. That's right, brother. He's right here, Duke. It's so great to have you here back in New England, Rhode Island, to say to speak. Um, so great. How do you like being here today with all the legends at FanFest 7? It is great being here. It's great seeing all the fans. It's great seeing all my old friends. Just having a good time here in Rhode Island. Now, one of the awesome storylines you did was against Jerry the King Lawler. This is before hardcore wrestling really became really big. You had the, the trash can, right? And I, I, wasn't there a, an incident you guys had the, on the King's Court? And then and, and the USA Network uh, wanted, uh, what, Lawler apologize the next week, right, for the attack he did on you? What was the story behind that? Yeah, it was uh, an angle we did on Live Raw, and me and Jerry Lawler kind of decided on the side that we were going to do this vicious attack where he attacked me with my own garbage can. And the, actually, the office uh, deemed it too violent uh, for USA Network, and they came on immediately. Gorilla Monsoon, Randy Macho Man Savage, they apologized on live TV. Then they brought back Jerry the King Lawler during Superstars the following week and apologized, which basically killed the whole angle. It was really a good angle. It had a lot of heat with that attack. But yeah, they kind of squashed it because it, it was deemed too violent during that time. The original PG era. Yeah, I think about 94, 95. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, there was, uh, you were Duke the Dumpster Drossy. Now, there was a rumor, and I know they took a picture of where they thought maybe they were going to maybe have you with the million dollar corporation, but didn't come to fruition. I think they took a picture for the magazine. They kind of tease it, just like the rumor mill back in the day. Uh, but what do you think about that? What would I, you think would have been great that you got the Tatanka treatment if you went with the million dollar man, got a little more money? I think it would have been a good deal. Uh, they did, they were pushing for that. Vince Russo, who at that time was actually the editor of the WWF magazine, came up with the concept of a lot of that. And he wrote that whole story, and they came up with that whole deal. And they actually started to pursue it. I wrestled a match with Steve Dahl, and I beat Steve Dahl. And afterwards, my garbage can had garbage in it and got spilled. We were fighting outside the ring. And as I was leaving, there was a $100 bill in the garbage can. So they started to develop that angle but then at some point, they just hit the brakes on it. I don't know why. Maybe Ted was getting ready to leave or something. But, yeah, they were getting ready to pursue that. And it would have been great. That sounds like a good way to start the storyline. I like that. Uh, what would you consider one of the greatest memories of your career? Uh, all the wrestling you've done. Uh, is there a certain memory that sticks out that is a favorite memory of yours of all the memories? Wow. Uh, the Royal Rumbles were always fun. The pay-per-view match I got to do with Triple H, that was awesome. And coming back... Even though I wasn't in the greatest shape of my life, coming back to the Gimmick Battle Royal at WrestleMania 17 in front of 65,000 people at the Astrodome, that was amazing. That's awesome. All right, I want to thank you so much for your time. It is an honor and a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Duke the Dumpster Drossy.